Hello, Hope Community Church. I have missed my Hopers so much. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to be making this video for you guys. Um, so I am currently at month one debrief. Um, we have uh, these next few days to literally just sit and process with the Lord, um, what he's been teaching us, what month one has been like, what strengths, weakness, all this stuff, um, which has been so, so good. And so I figured since month one is over, I'll make you guys a month one update. So I'll be doing this every single month um, just to give you a short update of my life because you guys have been um, just so, so supportive um, of me going out and I just wanted to tell you guys about what's been happening and what God has been doing. So short update, we are doing children's ministry here, um, which is so awesome because I love that. My team and I are um, teaching Bible lessons with the kids. Uh, we act them out, get them involved, uh, which is super duper awesome. And a lot of times uh, ministry just looks like holding a child and for hours on end and them falling asleep on you. I'm currently six days out of seven days that I've held this one little boy. He has fallen asleep on me, so it's going pretty well. It's really awesome because I have actually been able to use the four bracelets um, that we used at VBS to share um, the gospel with four kids. And it's just so awesome because it's just like on your wrist and they love playing like with your rings or your necklaces, like just your jewelry. And so that's honestly been such a good avenue to share um, the gospel. And no fruit of that has uh, come yet, but I know that that's also not my job. My job is just to plant those seeds um, and then God will change their hearts um, if it's his will at that time. So on the topic of planting seeds, um, smooth transition, um, <laughs> my team and I uh, actually went and lived on a farm la last week, um, right before we left for debrief. And it was so amazing. Um, the most that I've worked on a farm is missions trips like going with youth group um in vermont and it was so much fun um we did a lot of like manual labor we weeded a lot uh we cut grass like by hand that was an adventure i personally also helped like we built a fence and a goose pond because they were getting some geese um which was very hard because it has not rained here in two months they're in a little bit of a drought and um and so the ground was really hard. Or we were talking with one of the workers and we were like, this ground's really hard. Like we literally had to like pickaxe it and then shovel it up. Um, and it was also really hot, it was just a lot. And, um, and he was like, what do you mean? Like this ground's not hard, you're just weak. And we were like, okay, thank you for that. <laughs> So I am absolutely loving my team. I want to thank so many of you. I know that you have been specifically praying for the um, community of my team. It's uh, five other girls that I'm like, well, our whole squad of 50 is living together. Um, but this group of six, including myself, um, actually we go to ministry every day together. So we're always together. And it's also like by choice that we are always together because even when we go back from ministry, like we still hang out, we still have great conversation. It's so awesome because we can literally go from having conversation about food, which happens a lot, um, to having a conversation about what the meaning of the Sermon on the Mount is in literally 30 seconds. Um, it has been so, so awesome to grow with these ladies and just um, see God work through all of us. Um, individually and as a team together and we're also so excited we're gonna be like starting a Bible study also been super super awesome because we are so comfortable with each other in a sense of like um, we have been able to very like on a normal basis be able to um, encourage one another in such awesome ways and ways that we look like Christ and also to encourage one another in ways that we can look more like Christ and just calling each other higher um, because by the end of that like this is that's what we all want we all want to look more like Christ than we, how we started out um, so it's been really really awesome that I have a community that is I just feel so safe in um, that we can do that God wasted absolutely no time um, of just beginning to teach and stretch me um, actually two days before I left the US I really started um, just doubting a lot of things of like hearing 
like, do I really hear God's voice? And is he really going to use me in ways of like healing or prophecy? And in a way, I was almost putting those um, spiritual gifts that like aren't as, um, I guess, aren't as like normal to me on like a pedestal. Um, which was absolutely wrong, like not right by my part by any means. Um, but God has really just been teaching me that, um, about like the gift of evangelism and just trying to like step into that more, um, which I have some really, really awesome stories about that as well. Um, and just how God has worked through just us being obedient to him. So after searching for answers, just like trying to get out of this doubt, like read Abraham because it says in the Bible that like he had an unwavering faith. I was like, okay, what was Abraham doing? And like just reading different stories in the Bible, different verses and things like that. And just trying to like research doubt and what it was and um, in a sense almost how to get rid of it. And I really just came to a point where um, this doubt will turn to faith because God is faithful. And right now I just need to like patiently endure through this and keep worshiping and praising his name through that. Um, and he will show himself to me. He always does. Um, he has in the past and, uh, he has to each and every person that has ever experienced doubt. And, um, yeah, John 20, like the, it's the chapter, um, after like Jesus, uh, is resurrected. Um, and Thomas doubts him known, you know, doubting Thomas, he doubts Jesus. Um, and that's actually him. And Jesus shows his hands and his side to him. He shows him the wounds in his hands and just knowing that and knowing that, um, Jesus, he does not love me any less because I'm doubting him and he um, will not scorn me for that. Obviously he wants me to fully believe him, but through this time of doubt, I know that he will reveal himself to me just as he did to Thomas. So yeah, that has been month one. There are so many stories. Um, I don't mean to do like a self promo thing here, but like I really have been writing a lot on my blog, um, being very vulnerable on there. So I really encourage you guys to check that out, even for more stories about evangelism and just like things the Lord's been teaching me about ministry and things like that. So I just wanted to ask prayer for continued health. Um, I have not gotten sick thus far, which is absolutely amazing. Um, that has been such a blessing because so many other people have experienced that. So I just want to ask for continued um, health for not only me, but my team and my squad. Um, because typically when one person like gets sick, everyone does. Um, or it spreads very quickly. Also, just please pray that like God would reveal himself to me. I know that he will, um, but just that... I would begin to grow in this and this doubt would turn um, to faith in his timing, not mine. I'd love for it to happen tonight, but gotta submit to his will. Just pray for my team and just that we can continue to have this awesome community and just um, like through communication and finding exactly how one another can be loved, um, that we would just be able to grow closer in that. So yeah, um, my mom has, well, my mom and dad. Um, have told me some updates about um, what's going on at church and just um, some really exciting news, some sad news. Um, I just want you guys to know how much I appreciate and love you guys. Um, thank you so much for your support and prayers. It literally means so, so much to me and it's just so visible um, that their prayers have been sent up to God, um, that you guys have been interceding for me and I just want to thank you so much for that. So yeah, um, I love you guys so much and hope everything is going well. Um, but just in short, I am doing well. God is teaching me so much um, and just finding such joy here. So yeah, I love you guys. Have an awesome, awesome day. Um, God bless. Bye. Mm -hmm.